Hey guys, RC here, back with Planet Base. This is episode 9, so just picking up where we left off uh, last episode. So, I want to delve in here, like I said. Alright, so we've got... Eight, 24, right? Yes. So 24 and we have 26 or 27. Those take Those take workers. Okay, so 28. We've only got 27. All right, so you know what? I do need an influx of workers. All right, we have enough for 120 people, water wise or oxygen wise. So let's get let's get up to between 30 and 35 workers. Food looks like it's starting to come in. We should have a lot more meat production. Uh, by the way. One, two, th uh, let's see, 16 is four, 16. So we need between five and six there. So let's say five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. We should have 15 biologists. So we've got enough biologists. We shouldn't be running into issues there. Shouldn't be running into issues. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure everything's turning at the right rate. Now we're not getting warning signs over it. That would be bad. Adjust my mic there a little bit. Thank you. Um, Yeah. No storage still. All right, we're going to speed you back up. But I do think we need a few more workers. Now, engineers work with these machines. Yes. So, four, eight. I think they operate these as well. So I don't think we've got a huge abundance. These are workers too. So yeah, engineers we don't need quite as many. So we're probably well over, well, it says, you know, 30% is kind of a target, right? Colonist ship. See how he says visitor? to find my security guys in here.
us, we'll see how bad he gets hurt. All right, there's a guard. All right, he got hurt, killed him. All right, so we did have a couple of visitors in that, uh, intruders in that. So there you saw how they're labeled as visitors. So that's sneaky little bastards. All right, where is our sick bay? That's not it. There it is, right there. All right, so fixing him up. Combat wounds, there you go. Alright, so he's he's got combat wounds as well. He almost died. Wow. Alright. Medical cabinets are basically full. That was sneaky. Alright, let me open this. So we had one got inside. I he went too fast and I missed him. Um I am wondering. So Security's here. They should be able to get to this one. So I think what I want to do is shut this one down here. Force them to go in here, and that's the closest one for these guys. Also, if they come in here, they have to basically come in right through it. So I can leave this here, but if they when they, when there's a landing, I want to turn this one off just in case there is an intruder. Force them all to come in over here. And then that makes it easier for our security personnel, uh, which we are sitting on nine. It should be more than enough for right now. But we do have... Well, I guess they all have guns at this point. Just on principle. Worker, worker, and did not see what he was. He's a worker. All right. So we can open this one. Mm -hmm. Good deal. I think that'll work out fine. And then if they do use this one they come right through security pretty much anyway well not really pretty far down but there's not, they'd have to walk so far to get over here right i should be able to catch that all right how are we doing we got 26 metal Thirty-six, but twenty-six free. What does that mean? Oh, you know what that means? That means there's twenty-six that are in the machines. Not those machines. Talk about them. Low speed. Looking for some of these sneaky buggers. He's a worker. That's it. All right, we'll go ahead and open that back up. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead. I think it's time. We're going to build our massive solar panel. So we're going to drop you right down in this corner. Bam. I'm going to be curious to see how much that pulls in. This is the one we paid. Hello. Alarm is low on oxygen. Is it? And why would that be? Yeah, let's do that. Can I build between those two? And if I destroy that one? Maybe. Maybe. All right, well, I mean, we should have more than enough. Let's make that the priority. Because we've got oxygen, but we're dropping out pretty badly. Shouldn't be a power issue. 
honestly, we should not be having an issue. Anywhere in here. How strange. You know, you wouldn't think that you were going to have an issue like that. Sandstorm is approaching soon. So let's go ahead and give a yellow alert. Zoom in on you here. All right, you're a worker. Right, how are we doing on the worker? So we're up to 36. Cool. We can turn that off. All right. Speed you up. Really need to get this built. Yep, I'm aware. I'm not sure why. We will hopefully get this built not too far off in the future. Let's let this sandstorm nine structures low on oxygen. Now, in Surviving Mars, they have the Moxie is what you make oxygen with, but they also have a um, I forget what it's called, but it's a thing that you can like. We have water towers to store water, batteries to store so, you know, power, right? Well, they ha also have in Surviving Mars, they have a capture device for oxygen. Alright, no alert. Let's get that built, please. Okay, That's fine. You are 55% commission. That's it's a little steep. But We can sell that. And actually we will... Oh no, we, we want that. We will pull out... That and that. That works. So we'll sell a few guns. We don't need them all. Pick us up some pretty good money. We're up to 27 meals. We're even making alcoholic drinks in the bar. So that is good. We have got to address this need right there. I need one more plastic. One more plastic. That. All right. So that should start cranking out air here pretty quickly. All right. That's going to get us, that'll regulate us out real good. All right. So we should be fine now. We're actually up to 150, but we'll have to assume now because of just the way I've built the base or whatever that we need to keep one extra oxygen as a buffer. I think that would be the way to go. All right, how are you guys doing? So we don't even have starches in every machine. All right, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna unprioritize that one for a little while. Saw our laser shoot a beam up there and take out a asteroid. So, ooh, hello, my goodness. All right, what's your 50? Okay, I can live with that. So, let's tell you what, let's buy the GMO.
keep an extra gun. I'm going to sell that and that. And I think we'll do that. That's all right to me. So we'll pick up a GMO tomato. All right. They're building that, so let's go check right here. All right, so this was the biggest that we could make. It does up to 80. This is the new huge one. It does 110, but it takes 10 to make. The other one takes 7. So you'd have to do the math on that. So 7, 14, 21, 28. Twenty-eight, a little bit more. So you could build four and a half, and those would pull eight, three twenty. I think it would be better to build more of the small, you know, more of the, these. So yeah, this is one where I don't know that it's worth. Three six, because you could build. For every two that you built, no, let's see, two would be 160. Yeah, I just think more bang for the buck. Now, still takes the same number of spares, so definitely something to think about. All right, how are we doing here? We're up to 26 carrier bots, one constructor, 12 drillers. I think I've got a cap of 15 on those. Yeah, 15 drillers, 30. I'm going to go ahead and up it to 35 carriers. Guns, I'm going to drop to 15. That's a trading ship. 60% commission. I'm going to tell him to... Power wise, we're up to 700. I would like to maybe with that, let's build another battery. Um, let's. I want to be able to come off of that building to continue building. So let's come out here. Because I want to be able to come right here or right here with another building and then we can continue building out from there. If we have any room, we may not. Uh, no, because that's as far as we can go right here. Alright, so this is about the end of the base right there. And I, I just tried to build through this little mess here. It doesn't look like it would do. So how far can we go in the other direction here? All right, this will actually give us some some leeway. I can come off of this oxygen generator and come out of the robotics room. All right, that works. So we'll turn around and we'll start working from this direction. Just a uh, different perspective, slightly different perspective. 180 degree turn, huh? All right. Using up, we're not using up a ton, and that's going to give us another 12.5 in reserve. So I think we're doing okay there. Trade ship 55. I'm going to dismiss. We're going to really start trying to look just for the 50s and less. All right, we've got two driller bots there. Three there, so they should be working near capacity. Near capacity. I wonder if three mines, that's nine. Because only nine could work in them at a time.
just wondering if we need to build another mine or if we're good. I think we're good. Got you going on. Got you going on. don't have a constructor bot patent yet. Right, so he's making another driller bot. I don't need to overwhelm this. You know, slow and steady I think is going to be the rule of thumb there. We've got 1800 water. We're good there. Tell you what, I would like. Let's go ahead and build. Let's build that. All right, 45% commission. What do we got? Constructor, bot, patent. Bam. We're going to do that in a heartbeat. All right, we're going to sell that. Five of those, one of those, and we're going to call that good. All right, so where is our robotics room? So carrier bot, carrier bot. All right, you. Come on. How are you all? Just for the time being. Because what I'm going to do is after we get the patent, I'm going to switch that over to a constructor bot. I don't think we need, you know, we don't need a ton because, you know, the carrier bots are the biggest thing. Right, so if we got that, we can make that a constructor and now turn that on. And now we'll have all three bots being made, manufactured. And I'm wondering... Oh, okay, yes, we built this. Good. That's another 50 in the power line. What about... All right, so we've got this building on this end. What about... Want it off of the storage room, maybe? Maybe. I really don't want to connect that. I want that air going through the canteen first. But let's build that. And then what we'll do down here, I'm building just a small one, and all we're going to build in there is the, is the repair stations. That way robots can get repaired no matter what end of the base they're on. Kind of like that idea. Um... That and that. And we'll pick up a few coins. We'll take a slight hit there on the head to head. How are we doing in here? So we've got semiconductors. Four semiconductors. And two spares, two arms. Bears we're doing okay on. Medical supplies, spares, semiconductors, guns, carrier bots. Yeah, I'm liking those numbers. And now basically they'll shut down on their own. All right, here's what we're looking for. Why are they backing up here and are our biologists not keeping up? on these plants. They are knocking them out pretty quickly, so they're not they're not going bad. But you can 
can see, we don't quite have enough to keep them from going south to a certain extent. But it wasn't getting red, so, so I guess we'll say we're okay with that. All right, this is up and running. So all I want down here is, and that's why we built a small one, we're going to build just bot repair. As we have more bots come through, now we're going to dismiss you. As we have more bots coming online, we're going to need more areas for them to repair. And you want it more convenient to where they're not having to come from way over here, way over here, and then back way over there again. So this way, no matter what end of the base they're on, there's convenience and I think that's important especially with as many bots as we want to have all right so those are all up and running and there you go he's you know and they're both getting fixed before they got in too bad a shape that's the difference because a human will not come and repair them until they break you just won't Ooh, I know what I want to do uh, where is that canteen at here all right we are doing okay can I add one more food probably let's add another table and another water fountain possibly that'll work you can see we're, we're very storage friendly <laughs> We don't have anything in storage. Everything's being utilized. Except for this one. We do have stuff going on here. But still, that one's only 50% capacity. So. And I guess, I guess the two spares are keeping up. Again, we need somebody working on that. We need plastics. And, you know, all of these need, you know, a lot of... A lot of this stuff, the, the robots need semiconductors. So, you know, that's that's why, you know, you have to balance out what you're doing, you know. How's food going in here? Oh, this is the alcohol. Good. All right, we are having people utilize this area. Nobody's in bad morale, so that's good. So they can sleep in here. So with the bunk beds, you don't get the morale boost, but you do, you know, get two people per slot. That's that's your benefit. All right, here. Trading ship. Forty percent commission. We can do that. We sell two of those. Two of those. Seventy. Do I want to sell a gun? Mm. Tell you what, if we keep those, yeah, that's close enough. I'll keep the medicinal herbs, then I can make more med medical supplies. And those sell for more money so that's all good but we are capped so I don't think we're gonna make any more of those well in fact what I should do then is let me up that to 20 I want to keep 10 or 8 to 10 that gives us a full medical bay and then a couple of extras and then we can sell the rest that'll work That'll become now one of our major sellers. We'll sell that first before anything else. And then with the medicinal plants, we can make new ones. All right, we have this whole area. How can I get over there? I can come off of the oxygen and come out this way. Oh, one of our carrier bots died. We can 
also come out this way and then branch around. So we've got a lot of room we can expand to. I don't know that we're going to need to unless, you know, just more people. But is that going to really benefit us any? I don't think so. Excuse me. Long day at work. All right. Some bots getting repaired in there. Another carrier bot that's getting ready to bite the dust in the near future. That's all looking good. You know, we are within 10 on the water. I don't want to run out. So if we go there... That'll start ramping that up before it gets bad. And the other thing we can do is do that and add another, what's that, 600 water to our stockpile. Yep, so that gets us up to 39. has landed. Right, he's a 40% commission. Uh, the Goliath Turbine Patent. Let's go ahead and see about buying that. Alright, and we said we would sell... I want to keep 10. I may, I may have to... Let's see, we've got... I'm going to sell four extra. I'm going to sell three guns. And 20 coins. I think that's, I think that's good. So, you know, at this point, you're, you're either trying to gain coins from selling to be able to buy these uh, recipes. It's not the word I'm looking for, but I can't think of anything else to say. Um, schematics that was the that was the fancy word I was looking for so you know you wanted to get schematics is that a new driller bot cool how many driller bots do I have I have 15 so you know what I want to do I need to put in another I'm going to put in another nine out here just you know start cranking away man Goliath Turbine. All right, so these put out 50 watts of power, or 50 units of power. And those cost four. And now we've got a seven. I'm going to go ahead and build one just to do it, to say I did it. All right, we'll see what that does. If it's like the electricity, it goes up to 80 maybe? Maybe. All right, and there's plenty of metal, so it's coming quickly. Here comes our last one there. Oh, you know what I need to do is I want to build another. All right, if you click on your, your anti-meteor laser, it puts up this green barrier. And that's your range. So that's how far it will protect that one meteor laser. Now this one I've got here, and it will cover all the way out to there. So, you know, this area basically between the laser, because it was inside the other's barrier here. So basically everything out to here is double covered. So possibly... Possibly, we would want to put another laser out there. We should have enough semiconductors. All right, so anyway, that'll give us a third gun. Uh, that'll protect most of our power area. 
So yeah, I'm liking that. Alright, you guys are all working on that. I think we're okay there. What I could do is I could destroy these. And I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make this just a medical lab. those. I'll leave those. Uh, well, you know what? Let's not. Let's go ahead and destroy that. And that. And we'll put two more. Put a yellow alert for the sandstorm. A little behind the curve there, but that's all right. And our anti-meteor laser is up and charged. Right, we've got two more medical labs, so that'll be good. So they should be able to crank those out pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, and I think I've gone way over on time. So guys, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get updates for daily content. We appreciate you guys dropping by, and we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.